All right, here's the large language model benchmark ranking first quarter of 2025. The winner was ChatGPT, second was Claude, and third was Copilot. And now we are into the second quarter of 2025. Just a reminder of the rules. Each category is worth 10 points and points can be distributed evenly if more than one of the LLMs own the category. We're only focusing on large language models. We're not focusing on any specialized generative AI tools. And we've asked identical prompt questions to each of the large language models. And then finally, we're working with 18 different categories. So there's a total of 180 points. The large language models that we're working with, OpenAI's ChatGPT 4.0, Microsoft's Copilot, Google Gemini 2.5 Pro, Anthropics, Claude 3.7 Sonnet, Perplexities, Perplexity, Meta, Llama 3.2, and X's Grok 3. Our first question, do you have a free version for anyone to try? Again, for the practical user, you always want to try something for free before you start paying for it. They all have free versions. The next benchmark, if you had to use one of the competitor LLMs, which one would you choose? In this question, we asked every large language model if you had to choose and use another large language model and you couldn't choose yourself, who would you choose? And the majority chose Claude, which I must admit is a little bit surprising considering I would have thought that they would have chosen ChatGPT, but they chose Claude. What is your least costly paid plan? For the practical user, you want to make sure you're getting the most for your money. And uh, this Llama is open source, so it's completely free. The majority of the other large language models typically have a $20 a month plan, and Grok is $8. So the full 10 points goes to Meta Llama. Is the knowledge base current? This was a problem for a lot of large language models. Do they have up-to-date information? Now, all of them have up-to-date information except for Claude. As of today's recording, the training data was up to only April 2024. The next category, do you have a mobile app? All of them have a mobile app except for Meta's Llama, no mobile app. I feel you need to have a mobile app in order to be an effective large language model. And part of the reason is because of this next benchmark. Do you have real-time voice-to-voice option on both your desktop and phone app? The more you use large language models, the more you understand you need that. And the only two that have it right now, ChatGPT and Microsoft's Copilot. One of the features that I use the most with ChatGPT is the voice-to-voice. -voice. I'm a very slow typer. I'm a one-finger type of typer. It's easier to speak right to my large language model than it is to type. Real-time eyes. Do you have real-time visual analysis or interaction via your phone app? Now, as these large language models are becoming more agentic, it's going to be more and more important to have not only real-time voice, but real-time eyes. The only two right now, ChatGPT and Gemini. Now, three months ago, it was just ChatGPT, so Gemini coming in strong, and uh, I think we're going to see them uh, taking more of a lead over time. Next benchmark. Do you offer a plan that will disallow training on my inputs? If you want to be able to put confidential proprietary information, you have to make sure that you have a large language model that does not train on your data. All of them have options to avoid training on your data. Languages. How many languages are you capable of translating? All of them, 100 plus. So they all share the points there. Do you offer encryption and security that meets proper compliance standards? 
Most people don't think twice about putting confidential proprietary information in their Microsoft documents or their Google workspace. At the least, you should have that level of encryption and security before you put anything confidential or proprietary on any generative AI products. All of them have plans that allow for that equivalent encryption and security. The most creative LLM, which one was the most creative? We asked all the large language models who they felt was the most creative, and the majority chose Claude. I agree with that. I would have chosen Claude myself. Next one. What are the best image makers? ChatGPT 4.0. ChatGPT 4.0 just had an upgrade recently, and uh, I think you'll understand why it was determined by the other large language models that ChatGPT was the best image maker of the group. Best search engine. Which large language model did they consider was the best search engine and perplexity was chosen? I agree with that one, too. Perplexity is great for search. I'm always using perplexity when I want search. I don't use Google for search anymore. Best large language model for code and programming. The large language models chose ChatGPT. ChatGPT had a slim advantage there with the other half points, with the other points going to Claude and Copilot. Last quarter, Copilot won the whole thing. Best large language model for document writing. The majority chose Claude. I'm not surprised by that either. Although ChatGPT has done a really nice job at upgrading their Canvas feature, but currently Claude is the best when it comes to document writing. Least in AI hallucinations. The went to Claude. Now, for the practical user, just be mindful. Now, for the practical user, please just be mindful that no matter what AI hallucinations are. Now, just to make it clear, all of them hallucinate. You have to check the work. Even if Claude hallucinates less, it still hallucinates. You got to check the work before you send it out. Deep research. How many of them have this deep research tool? This is something that we didn't even have. <sighs> Next benchmark, deep research. This is a, a much deeper research. When you use it, you'll see it takes a lot longer to get the information, but it does a much more, but it does a but it does a much better job at researching anything that you're at researching any of the topics that you're looking for to research. This was a category that didn't exist three months ago because these, this was a feature that didn't exist. And now ChatGPT, Perplexity, and Grok have a deep research feature. I highly recommend you give those a try, by the way. And then API availability, all of them have API availability, so we share the points there. When we total up the points, we find out that perplexity has passed Copilot as number three. Number two, Claude stays. Claude, once again, gets the silver medal in number two. And number one, ChatGPT remains Number one for another quarter. A couple things to note. Copilot dropped to fifth and Gemini jumped to fourth. And Gemini is now, Gemini is in fourth and coming in close to. A couple of other things. Copilot dropped to fifth. Gemini is fourth. And I expect that when we do this again in three months, Gemini is going to continue to rise.
Gemini is going to continue to rise. And my opinion, and I believe Claude is actually the one that's going to drop off. When I, as I see how these large language models are evolving, it's Claude that I'm not entirely sure if they have any advantage that they're going to be able to. It's Claude that I think is going to really start to fall off. Because what they lead in today, all the features that they lead in today, I don't think they're going to be able to keep that lead. And at the end of the day, this is all about being able to raise money. ChatGPT is raising money. ChatGPT just recently raised money at a $300 billion valuation. Gemini has Google, and they're certainly going to have plenty of money behind it. Meta and Grok also can stay in that race. Some of these other ones are going to fall behind. We'll see how it goes. Now, now I, uh, I'm not surprised by this. Now, this, this is. If I had to rank them myself, this would probably be my top three right now. Because this is, this would probably be my top three. These are, this is basically how I use it. ChatGPT, I use the most. I use Claude for uh, special. ChatGPT, I'm using all the time. You know, and as far as how this was ranked, Now, I'm not surprised by that. Uh, I have, I have paid, I have a paid plan for every one of these because I'm trying them all out all the time. And uh, if I were to rank my top three, this would be exactly how I would rank them. ChatGPT, I'm using the most, has the most value for me. Claude, I use second, and now I'm just using it mostly for creative purposes only so i can see where that's going to fall off and then perplexity i'm using for search i don't use google for search whenever i'm using search i go to perplexity it does a really nice job also notice that gemini was number four past copilot i expect gemini to continue to I expect Gemini is going to meddle soon. Because as it, as it continues to evolve, it's getting better and better. I'm probably going to find myself using Gemini more and more. And I'm probably going to find myself using Claude less and less. Because uh, many of the features that I was using Claude for before have been have been replaced by some of these other large language models, and I don't find myself using Claude as much. But for now, second quarter, 2025, ChatGPT number one, Claude number two, Perplexity number three. We'll do this again in three months.